son of media tycoon Carey and heir to a $7 billion fortune. Jamie Packer, executive chairman of Australia's biggest media company, PBL, the jewel in its crown, Channel 9. Jamie Packer, all of the above, and according to Scuttlebutt, dipper of toe into the world of Scientology. Journalist Annette Sharp broke the story in the Sydney Morning Herald. She claimed Jamie had been introduced to the church by actor Tom Cruise and had been spotted at a church campus in Sydney. According to Sharp, not only had Jamie been taking self-help courses, but he had also employed a Scientologist as his personal assistant. Ah, Scientology. You know the drill. Its critics call it a dangerous cult that combines brainwashing and dubious technology like the E-meter with esoteric science fiction influenced theology. Its supporters say it's a great way to reach your full potential and just as logical as any other religion. Hey, it's a free country. Jamie Packer can believe whatever he likes. Good on him. I don't care. But I do wonder what it's going to be like when Kerry passes on and Jamie is left in charge of Channel 9. Welcome to Who Wants to Be an Operating Satan? Level 8. The game show consisting entirely of questions from the Scientologist Free Personality Test. Along the way, you can rid your reactive mind of engrams and become entirely clear, thus reaching the higher mental and spiritual state of Operating Satan Level 8. Now, Terry, if I could get you to put your hands on the E-meter, the electro-psychometer, which will enable me, the auditor, to prelocate areas of spiritual distress. Question one from the free personality test. Do you often ponder over your own inferiority? No. Question two, does an unexpected action cause your muscles to twitch? No. Question three, do you laugh and smile readily? I don't know. Can I find a friend? No. Your friends can impede your spiritual advancement through their antagonism towards Scientology. Remember, their opposition is rooted in false information about the organization. You should make the self-determined decision to disconnect from these friends. They are impeding your spiritual advancement. Oh. Anyway, do you laugh and smile readily? No. The results. Oh boy. Your results show whilst you have a lot of potential, you're being held back by a lack of self-esteem. Would you like to purchase this copy of L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics? It will start you on your path to personal freedom. I'm outside the house of a very special person. He started out on a planet ruled by galactic master Zenu 75 billion years ago, and after escaping has since been reborn into the flesh of many other bodies. Let's see if he's home. Rob Hibbert, this is your past life. <laughs> now, Rob, as we know from the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard, tens of billions of years ago, you were living on another planet. Just one of the 76 planets ruled over by galactic master Zenu. As you'll remember, your planet was vastly overpopulated. So Zenu gave you and billions of others an injection of alcohol and glycol, paralyzed you, put you on a rocket, and flew you here to Earth. Mm. Back then it was known as a Tiziak. It was indeed called Tiziak. Now, on arriving on Earth, you were stacked with billions of others around the base of a volcano, which then had a hydrogen bomb lowered into it, which was detonated, killing everyone. Mm. It was about this time your soul was caught in an electronic trap put in a box and implanted with misleading data and stuck in the body you now inhabit. Rob, do you remember this voice? Yes, all the way from his electronic mountain trap from another planet, it's the galactic ruler, Zenu. You obviously have a lot of catching up to do. Channel 9, still the one for movies. Tonight, 8.30, John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. Tomorrow, 8.30, John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. And Wednesday, 8.30, Barry Pepper. Co-stars with John Travolta in Battlefield Earth.